James Forsythe. Congratulations. Thank you for this amazing recognition and for an incredible night together. In writing this speech, I thought about how grateful I would be and how may I may express it through my words. In working with exceptional education students, I have had the incredible opportunity to assist them in walking across the stage at graduation. The joy in their faces, as well as the mutual understanding and the appreciation of all their hard work and dedication culminating in a memorable night dedicated to them as a graduate are some of my most fondest memories as an educator. This night is similar in so many ways. As I think about the school days within the classroom, working with them, leading up to the graduation, I remember multiple times when skills were built and barriers were overcome. I encouraged them to take risk and try new things, which resulted in higher levels of self-confidence and pride in themselves. Much like my students, over the years, I relied upon the guidance of great, great teachers. And these teachers in education, they supported me, and they helped me develop the skills necessary to be successful. Each day within the classroom provides a sense of gratefulness, and although I'd rather celebrate the accomplishments of my students, it's nice to have an evening for yourself. This award tonight is shared by my students that I've had the opportunity to serve over my 12-year career. My students have reinforced so many valuable characteristics, such as remaining happy despite your circumstances, trying hard even when the odds seem stacked against you, and also being kind to others while expecting nothing in return. Together, our lessons within the classroom have molded us to, be, to equip our lives to be better prepared for the days ahead of us. Being named Teacher of the Year is a great title, but my most favorite titles are husband and most recently father. <laughs> Jess, I love you so much. Oakland and I are so lucky to have you as her mother. Although you're yourself a dedicated educator, I could never have imagined how selfish you would be for our baby girl. She's so lucky and we are all so lucky to have you. I also want to thank my principal, Mr. Jerry Smith. I want to thank the assistant principal, Dr. Tammy Daniels, my student support facilitator, Carrie Jarrett Roberts, and also my paraeducator, Kelly Orocho. Together, you guys have provided the consistent support and dedication toward equipping our students to be successful both inside the classroom and outside. Finally, I want to give praise to God for his ability to take a guy from the hills of West Virginia and give him the opportunity to positively impact the lives of our exceptional students. This award provides me with more reassurance that I am carrying out his will and that my life has purpose in this life and the one to come. I would like to leave you. I would like to leave you with a quote from an amazing woman. This woman, she is a very strong advocate for the autism community. She is a professor of animal science and author on autism and animal behavior, Temple Grandin whom said this, there needs to be a lot more emphasis on what a child can do instead of what he cannot do. I challenge each and every one of you not to look at the disability, but look at the ability of the individual and to always advocate for those who may find it difficult to advocate for themselves. Thank you for this award, and as always, go Lions.